taking my hair not off. Um, today is Saturday, January 6th. I figured I'd start the next vlog. I actually, like, um, was pretty proud of myself. I had yesterday off, and I vlogged all day to the point where I was able to make it, like, its own vlog. Um, and yeah, so I am on my lunch break. I'm gonna go in probably quarter of 11 or so. I just wanted to, like, hop on and talk about something, um, one of my cousins passed away yesterday. He was 50. He was actually like my third cousin. Um, Cause he was like, I think he was my dad's second cousin. So I think he was my third cousin. Um, never was really close with him, but I knew him my entire life. And growing up on an island, it almost like, you, it almost don't matter that you were like close with someone when it comes to the island because it's just like such a close knit community, like not a whole lot of people out there. And it's just one of those things that was like really shocking and it was unexpected. And it just kind of like really makes you like think about how we're really not promised tomorrow. And I think we all know that anyways. But if I've learned anything from, like, my cousin dying and Cody's father dying. I talk about this a lot. But if you are new to my channel. Hello, welcome. Sorry, I'm about to be, like, somber in the beginning of this vlog. But my husband, his father passed away one month after we got married. We got married on October 23rd and his father passed away on November 25th. And he actually... Uh, passed away on Thanksgiving Day of all days too so if I've learned from like either of their deaths really we're not promised tomorrow and also like take I, I've realized and I've had the thought all year and especially the last few months of how I need to take better care of my health because there are so many like things genetically in my family, like I have a lot of family members with diabetes, which is uh, genetic. My father had a heart attack at 57 and heart problems can be genetic. And then on top of that, I, as you can tell, am a heavy woman. I weigh almost 300 pounds, I'll be honest. I've, I weigh, this is the most I've weighed ever. I've never weighed this much. I've always been a bigger girl, but I've never weighed this much. And this year, you know, on top of wanting to get pregnant, I've realized I really need to start taking better care of my health, um, whether it be what I eat, I need to exercise more. Um, one of the biggest things I've been trying to cut back, which of course today I already failed, is my caffeine intake. I drink caffeine all day long, whether it be like I'll drink, especially with, like on a day like today, I worked at 5 a.m., and this morning I had two little cups of coffee. And then of course one of my coworkers runs Dunkin'. She's like, hey, you want anything? And I'm like, I'm not gonna pass it up. So I got a large iced latte, not iced, hot latte, which probably has like two or three shots of espresso in it. And then I even brought a Celsius that I was gonna drink at some point this mid morning. Cause I, my shift ends at 1.30 but when I go home I really try not to nap but and that's another big thing I'm trying to quit but it is so hard because I'm going to be honest right now napping in the afternoon okay if you need the sleep you need the sleep it's like snowing I can't tell if it's snowing or just blowing off the roof we are getting snow tomorrow anyways napping I'm sure is good for you okay that's I'm not saying if you need the sleep, you obviously need the sleep. I have got to turn on the heat, guys. So I'm sorry if you can hear it, but it's cold in my car. But if, like me, I have been napping every day at the same time. Of course, like now I work 10.45 to 7.15 most days of the week. My my um, weekends are usually 5 to 1.30. And then usually I have like one day in the week from 5 to 1.30. Anyways needless to say um but I 
What was I just gonna say? I like seriously, I need to take like, um, there must like vitamins that are for like memory because I swear my, I lose, I forget what I'm talking about in the middle of talking. But I have been taking a nap every day around the same time since I was in high school. Because living on the island, our school didn't start till like 8 30, 9 o'clock ish. And then we'd be done at 3. Yeah, some something like that. And then high school, I lived 20 minutes away from my high school because I lived with my grandmother at the time. It would start at like 7 30. So, and we would be done at like 2 2 06 was our end time every day at 206 weird times why do high schools have weird times because i even think we started at like 7 39 it was like such a weird anyways so i started like early and so having to get up at like 6 5 36 o'clock having to like shower and get ready and then go to school every day when i would get home i would take a nap right off the bat every day i would take a nap and so, like, even now, because I used to work 5 to 1.30 more often, I feel like every day that I've worked 5 to 1.30, I've always laid down and taken a 30-minute nap every single day. So, it makes it so my body is trained that even if I have caffeine in the afternoon, like, even if I have a coffee, it don't matter. Once 1.30, 2 o'clock hits, my, I, my eyes are so heavy and the only thing to like make it go away is by laying down. Even if I've had caffeine, isn't this crazy? But I will say, I'm thinking, cause I, I need to stop. Because one, it makes it so I can't sleep at night. I end up having to take a melatonin or something to fall asleep. And I'm very weird about my hours. Like if I had to be up at 4 a.m. for work, you best believe I want to be asleep by 8, 8, 8 p.m. Because I'm just very weird and I want my 8 hours of sleep. So, I do find, because working 10.45 to 7.15, right around that 2 o'clock, 1 to 2 o'clock, I always get that wanting to nap. But obviously I'm at work, so I can't. So... I do feel like one of the things I'm going to practice today and just see if it works is going home because I also always have this mentality that once I'm home I change out of my work clothes and then I lay down or I go downstairs and sit on the couch and then I end up because like my husband's home today so me I would go home change go downstairs and then hang out with my husband like sit on the couch while he's doing whatever and then be like oh like 2 2 30 comes around I'm like I, could, I think I'll just go up and try to lay down for half hour but you know it's never a half an hour because I am not someone that can just fall asleep right away it's very rare so I end up laying in bed scrolling on my phone until I'm my eyes are too heavy and then I fall asleep for half an hour so my thought is because when I'm at work I do get that feeling but obviously I'm busy and I'm doing stuff so then I it's almost like I'm working through it so I'm thinking once I get home if I don't sit down then maybe it will be better so I think today I'm actually going to because you know what I keep wanting to do it and then I put it off like oh I'll wait till my day off then my day off comes and I'm like well it's my day off I want to do nothing I think I want to start the spare room today because I've thought about it and I'm like, if all I do, I don't really care about reorganizing right now. If all I do is just start going in with big trash bags and start just going through everything and throwing things away, then I can then, you know, try to rearrange and make the room into the guest room slash hopefully one day be a nursery. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Because I just know if I go home and sit, I'm going to end up getting tired and I'm going to be like, oh, I need to go nap. Like, it'll just be like, I need to go upstairs and lay down. So, I think that's what I'm going to do today. I also feel like if I go home and shower, that might help too. Kind of like wake myself up. So, I think I'll go home and shower and then I will tackle the spare room. I also keep thinking I should try to work out today. 
but I don't know. I, I feel like I do want to start working out more or just start working out in general, not even more. So I feel like if I, if I do that, what I really need to do is, um, I need to like, maybe I need to start on a day and have maybe like a goal in mind, not just be like, Oh, I think I maybe I'll try to work out today. I think I want to like maybe start Monday and start with like, okay, let's work out three times next week. And by working out in, in my brain, cause I haven't, I haven't taken the pullet and signed up for Planet Fitness yet. It was on my Christmas wish list. Nobody wanted to get it for me because they said it, they thought it sounded rude if they gave me a gym membership, even though it was on my list, it's fine. And they, and I keep wanting to sign up for Planet Fitness, especially right now they're doing like a sale where you could do like 24 cents down. And I want to do like the black card because it's $24.99 a month, but you get like, you could use the massage chairs or whatever. Maybe that's not even worth it. I should just do the base $10 a month, but But I also just feel like that's a lot of money a month if I end up not going. And I've also heard, like my sister used to work in a credit union and she told me like so many people would go in because they would like try to cancel Planet Fitness and for whatever reason they would cancel it but Planet Fitness would still charge them each month and they try to go to credit to the credit union to be like, I need you to stop these payments and they're like, we can't, you have to fight Planet Fitness about it. So I'm like scared that that would happen. So that's why I've never also signed up for it. I don't know. So anyway, so usually what I do is I do YouTube workouts. Like I really like MK Fit. She does really fun hip workouts. Um, there was a couple workouts I used to love doing when I was in my losing weight era. So, and to me, it's not necessarily that I want to lose weight. I mean, I do want to lose weight, but it's just, wanting to be more healthy and of course I want to start this in January and it's winter and we're about to get snowstorms and windstorms at the wazoo but I do want to get to a point where even like in the spring and summertime I could go for like more walks of course I need my husband because I live in a city with sketchy people and no offense homeless people and I'm worried I could get murdered walking by myself so Anyways, um, that was such a weird, I feel like this was a weird segment, but I just like the death of my, my cousin really like made me think about all this stuff and like how I really want to try to work more on my health because also someone made a good point. They're like, I feel like once you start getting healthy, you will get pregnant. And I think they are right. I think if I take care of myself more. I will. And Monday, I'm going to call around and make Cody and I appointments for doctors. There's just no way around it. I'm going to force myself Monday to call around. This video is going to keep me accountable. So yeah, so I'm going to sit for another like 15 minutes, kind of scroll on my phone, listen to music, and then go back in. Hopefully I can leave early today, but Cisco hasn't come yet. Cisco comes on Saturdays and I don't necessarily want to leave everybody put away stock by themselves. I want to be able to help. So I'm hoping they come before one o'clock so that way I could put it away because otherwise I don't really want to stay late today. If anything, I would like to leave early. Good morning. Look at my hair. This is ridiculous. I was going to shower, but I've decided to wait until after I drop off Cody because I want to like take a mental health shower. You know what I'm talking about? Where you like Maybe take a longer shower. I have like a shower bomb. Like, you know, like a bath bomb that you put in your shower. I need a haircut. I need to call the hair salon today. It just has got to happen. Um, I want to hopefully get one like right before we go to Disney. Um, I'll maybe see. I have a eyebrow wax at 4.30. The Friday before we go to Disney. So maybe I'll see if. I can also get a haircut like around that time just so I can go like once instead of like multiple times. Otherwise, I might just see if I could like go over the weekend because I'd work 
I would work um, 5 to 1.30 over the weekend. So. so I didn't vlog yesterday because um, honestly my mental health hasn't been good. This whole thing with my cousin is just been like so heavy on my heart and on my mind just because like it was so unexpected and just seeing his wife post and she's obviously really struggling and you know wishing I was on the island to somehow help but also like not wanting to bug her obviously so today when I drop off Cody um, I was thinking about going to Target just because they're having some really good sales today, this week. <clears throat> I'm hoping that you'll see this. Oh, you won't see this this week. Target is having a huge sale on diapers. You can get, if you buy $100, you can have a $30 gift card back from Target. But on the Target Circle app, there are coupons for diapers that you can also stack. And then it will make them super cheap. So... Um, I'm thinking about going to do that this, so I can get diapers for Megan, who is having a baby in May. This is now that Christmas is over and we know what she's having. She's having a boy, if I've never mentioned that, which I think I have. Now I can actually, like, start buying for her. Of course, I've been trying to hold off until after we get back from Disney, because I want to make sure I have plenty of money for the trip. But... I think what I am going to go to Target though because they're doing this the um if you guys I always mention her but now that I've quit TikTok she does have an Instagram so I'll leave her Instagram down below if you guys want to check her out she does lots of breakdowns and for like different stores CVS sometimes Walgreens um Dollar General every Saturday she does breakdowns on how you could get stuff from Dollar General for super cheap and Target and this week there are some toothpaste um coupons that you can actually get coupons like almost with like credit like for free so I'm gonna go try it but I am thinking about getting the diapers too but I also don't want to necessarily pay a ton so I'm like because even with the $30 back I still have to pay like 80 something out of pocket. I don't know. This whole thing, like, I'll admit, like, I kind of got upset about something my brother said yesterday. But it was something that I shouldn't have gotten upset about. But I think we're just all on edge about this whole thing. Because, like, to be honest, like, he basically dropped dead. Like, he basically just, like, dropped. And he was so young. He was only 50 years old. And... <clears throat> He had children, school-aged children. Like, his oldest his oldest daughter is, like, a freshman in high school. Then he has a stepdaughter who's a young adult. He has two sons. His youngest son is, like, only four or five. So, like, these kids are way too young to have lost their parent. And he was so young. And he just had, like, a lot of health issues. Like, he was a big man for, like, ever. And then the past couple of years, he'd been losing weight to try to, like, um help his health but it just apparently it still caught up to him and it's just really sad because like my cousin's mom also dropped dead when she was really young I think she was like 40 when she dropped dead and she dropped dead of a brain brain aneurysm it was like such a weird like she called her brother and was like I don't feel well and then like she hung up and when he went to go check on her she was gone and so for him to like live through that and he's just had he had like such like the things he lived through anyways I'm getting on a tangent but it's just we're all on like edge and we're all like thinking about it like my brother's like was kind of freaking out because he is an older man he's like in his late 30s now and he is a big man and he said it perfectly he's like I need to make lifestyle changes. I'm on all of these medications and I am 200 pounds overweight and I need to find, he's like, and I just know that it all is my own fault. Like I just should have made better lifestyle changes and I'm feeling the same way. And I think that's why I got upset because I almost feel like I had felt it as if he was like directing it towards me, but he wasn't, I don't know. I'm, 
I'm obviously over it today, but yesterday I think I was just already upset about the whole thing, and so we're all, like, really wanting some lifestyle, lifestyle changes, um, to be honest, I really wish my mom would stop smoking, I really kind of hope that this might get her to do that, um, my dad stopped smoking when he had a heart attack. I feel like I've talked about this. I probably have. I don't want to get into it anyways. But, and it's hard, like, for me, I feel like I do need, to, I'm in the same boat. I need to, I need to lose at least, I want to at least lose 100 pounds. Problem is, I also want to get pregnant. And it's like, what do I take care of first? Because, like, I don't necessarily want to keep waiting to have kids. Because I want to still be young when my kids are adults. But I also feel like I need to also take care of my health. But I don't really necessarily know because I've never been to a doctor. So today that's also on the docket. Calling around, trying to find a doctor for me and my husband. I want to go to Target when I drop off Cody. Just so I can go see if I can get that toothpaste. It did snow last night. But I think it's going to probably like kind of clear off today. It's still going to be cold today. But we really only got a light dusting. So, I think it will be fine. But, just wanted to come on, um, say why I didn't really like vlog yesterday. I just, I needed a mental health day. But we had a really nice evening. I made um, pizza and mozzarella sticks. You know, right after I just said I, was, I needed to make some lifestyle changes. And then, we just watched, we kept watching movies. We watched, um, we watched this documentary about Mickey Mouse on Disney+. Plus. I don't remember what it was called. Uh, we watched Doug's first movie, which I, I remember that movie as a kid, but I actually kind of found it boring. And then we watched Sonic 2. Oh, and then we watched, I found on Paramount Plus, Nick Swartzen. Do you guys know him? He was like from like old movies. Like, um, he was in Bench Warmers. He was in Grandma's Boy. He actually made Grandma's Boy. He's a comedian. He, his stand-up special called Nick Swartz and Seriously Who Farted, it's from 2009. It is, to this day, probably one of my favorite stand-ups. And it's on Paramount Plus I found last night. So I was like, we need to watch this. And it's still so funny to this day. Um, Claudia Oshry, also from The Toast, she her stand-up special just came out. But I have to rent it. So I'm kind of waiting because eventually she's going to make it so you can watch it for free on Prime. Like, she did her first one, and I know that sounds bad, but it's just, like, your girl's poor, so, like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't like, I don't like paying to rent movies on my TV, because it's, like, there are, of all the streaming services I'm, um, what am I, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word, that I'm subscribed to, like, there are tons of other things I could be watching, and then I could just wait, and then hope someday it will come on to one of the streaming services like I'm dying to watch the Taylor Swift one but to rent it for $19.89 I understand why they chose that number but renting a movie for $19.89 are we kidding like you might as well buy it at that price Ugh, I should have went to see it in theaters I've been really wanting to go to see the movie go to a movie but the movies are so expensive. I feel like, like right now, like when we're not working, we just want to be home. But I just, I love going to the movies. I love the movie theater food. I love being in this like big room with the big screen. And our movie theater actually has recliners. But we really want to go see Iron Claw. It's about um, a wrestler and this family. I can't remember the name. I also want to see Wonka. I feel like that's all I want to see right now. I just love going to the movies. And I feel like more often now, you're going to see more movie theaters play older movies. Um, like, I know the other movie theater near me is doing... They did, like, a Harry Potter marathon. Now they're going to do a Lord of the Rings marathon. I'm not into that, but someone is. Anyways, so I'm rambling. I should get off. Um, so that's kind of on the docket today. We're just going to see about the day but I know I want to get in like a mental health shower like a self-care shower 
maybe shave my legs, put on like lotion, like to actually take the time. Cause lately I feel like my showers have been trying to like rush through them. And that's when I know that my mental health has been like, yeah, so. Also, I think Cody and I are both coming down with colds. I've been stuffed up. I've had sinus headaches. I think when he gets up, if he's still feeling wonky, we're going to take COVID tests. And yeah. Crazy hair's back, but I just had to tell you guys. I just got an email from my travel agent and she like gave me all the stuff because our trip is literally two weeks from today. Actually, two weeks from right now, we will be in our layover in Baltimore, Maryland. We will be just kind of like hanging out, hopefully, assuming our plane doesn't get delayed. We will be like just hanging out in Baltimore, just like waiting for the next plane. Just so crazy, like, uh, anyways, have I told you guys that we're sw we switched our flight to 540 in the morning from Portland? So now we're going to be driving from 230 in the morning to the to the airport. Anyways, 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 anyways. Um, anyways, so I got an email from my travel agent with like the travel packet and what, you know, all my information. And then she gave me a $25 gift card to Disney, which is just so sweet. And it's so helpful because I already have like, you know, cards. It's so sweet of her. So I've said it before and I'll say it again. I use Molly Davis. She's from Marvelous Mouse Travels. You can go to their website and when you contact them for a quote, you can request a certain agent. And if you type in her name and then tell her I sent you, I really appreciate it. Now, I don't give my last name on YouTube, obviously, but if you give her my email, I bet she can figure out who sent you. So my email is always um, in the, in my, it's always on my channel somewhere, but it's just um, MelissaCaitlin1993 at gmail.com. So anyway, so I got to add that to my gift card, which was so nice. And you know what? I was actually thinking next week. When I get paid, I'm going to get one more gift card just because, like, we're so close to 500 So I was going to get a $75 one to, like, round it out. And now she gave us a 25 one. So now I only had to get a $50 one. Anyway, she's just such a nice agent. She's always been helpful. I just hope, like, my hope someday, I really want to become a Disney travel agent. Like, that's my ultimate dream. I don't know how to, get like, get started. I should ask her. But I don't know if she, I don't know. I feel weird doing that. Because, like, I feel like, but I don't think she would, like, gatekeep. You know what I mean? I feel like she would tell me. But I just don't want to bug people. I'd rather just, like, figure it out on my own. But anyways, I just hope that if I ever did become an agent, I'm, like, half as nice as she is. Because she's just, like, she's always been so nice. And even this trip, like, I had told her right off the bat, like, we're not really going to do reservations. Like, we're going to make this cheap as possible. But if you want the business and you want the commission, I would love for you to book it. Because otherwise I was just going to book it myself. But she was like, absolutely, I want to help you. So, and she is so helpful. Like, she booked our trip. She did our reservations for our dinners. And she booked our transportation to and from the hotel um, and the airport. It's just, she's just travel agents are free that's like when I finally do my Disney planning trip which I want to no planning a Disney trip video which I'm going to do when we get back I'm going to start actually filming the Disney like sit down videos um that is my number one tri tip is travel agents are free for you they earn commission off your trip but you don't have to pay them anything and they're just so helpful so that's like my number one tip when you're going to Disney, use a travel agent. Like, it's it's fine to, like, figure out things on your own, but, like, oh, my God, he's getting up. And you can see this. He's just, like, looking up the stairs, like, his dad getting up. Anyways, that's all. So, update for the morning. Mr. Gus here had another seizure in the living room. Ugh. He was like just sleeping and then all of a sudden 
I look and I'm like, oh, he's having a seizure. So we jump into action. And this is what we do. We grab the pet carrier and we kind of put him in here the minute he's done. He was acting fine and restless and he was acting normal. So I let him out. So I was like, you know what? He's fine. Maybe he just needs to walk it off. And he did. He paced the house for a while. And then he... Do you see that you're on camera? And then he just like... I was on I was like on the toilet. And he came into the bathroom and he looked at me and he kind of went... Burp. He does like these pigeon noises. Like it's not really meow. It's like a... Burp. And I was like, what? And then he just kind of like started circling and like acting like almost like he couldn't move. So I yelled at my husband, like, I need you. And he brought up the pet carrier and we've put him back in. Because it just seems like maybe it was too much too soon. You just need a rest. So I think I'll make him sit in here for at least an hour. Okay, I just got home. Gussie's just chilling. Just going to rest a little bit longer. But I got a package from Etsy, so I thought I'd show you guys. I ordered some short shirts for our Disney trip. So, these are from a shop called New Hope Print and Digital. I'll have the shop linked down below or these shirts linked down below. So, the first thing I got for Cody, I got Cody one shirt and me two, just saying. I got Cody this shirt. I thought this would be cute, like um, Magic Kingdom Day. But it says, let's do this. And then obviously the O is a Mickey. I thought that was going to be very cute for him. I got this in a 3X. I find with Etsy shirts, just be on the safe side, I do order a size up. Just because I don't know how things are going to feel. Like if they're going to be tight on us. I don't know how they're going to wash. Are they going to shrink in the wash? And then also like... um. And also like sizing, like sometimes certain sizes fit, sometimes they don't. So I always on the best bet size up. I'd rather wear something too baggy than too tight. That's just me because I'm fat. Maybe that's not, that's the case for you. Okay, for myself, for Magic Kingdom Day, I got this shirt. It has the castle. And I'm sure you, I don't think you can really read it, but it says, um... Feel your heart beat faster. Reach out and find your happily ever after. If you don't know, this is from the fireworks show. It's a song. Feel your heart beat faster. Reach out and find your happily ever after. Totally butchered the song. But I do recommend go on YouTube and type in happily ever after fireworks show. There is so many good videos where you can watch it. It's just so magical. Um... We're not sure if we're going to do the fireworks this time around just because it's so hard to get a spot. We can just honestly, last time we went, we stood way in the back. We ended up leaving, which they do recommend do not leave when the fireworks end because everyone else does. You might as well stay in the park for an hour, go to some gift shops, go do some rides. Just because it gets so packed trying to leave, you feel like you're in a stampede almost. And you're like trying to rush to the buses. The bus lines are long at that time. So just stay in the park a little bit longer after the fireworks end. Anyways, so we were stuck in the back. And by the time we got back, we were dead. But then I was looking through, because on the Disney TVs, they just have like different things you can watch, like Mickey cartoons, whatever. And then I found you can watch the Happily Ever After show on the resort TV. And I was like, oh my God. So we ended up like shutting all the lights off and watching it. But anyway, so I did find a really good video. I have it linked down below that I watched last night because I just like needed to watch it. And in fact, like I was telling my sister if I could go back in time, and I say this about a lot of songs, like if I could go back to when we were doing our playlist for our wedding, I do love our wedding song. We Our wedding song was From the Ground Up by Dan and Che. But if I could go back, if I had known about certain songs, I'm like, where was the song when I was getting married? Like, actually, there's another song by Dan and Jay, which I had picked um, over the From the Ground Up song. The From the Ground Up song I chose, this is such a weird tangent, but whatever. You guys subscribe for a reason, apparently. 
But From the Ground Up song, we chose it because I've always loved the song. It was my cousin's wedding song. He had gotten married years ago and he's divorced now. So isn't that something? And so I, my sister told me he had a weird look when he heard that our song was the same song. Sorry. But um, the song in the song at the end, there's this um, part of the song that goes, Someday we'll wake up with thousands of pictures of 65 years in this little house. And every time I was listening to that song, I would cry at that part. I don't know why, but I just always did. And But now there's a song called You by Dan and Shay that is so perfect that I wish I had chosen that. But then hearing the Happily Ever After song, I'm just like, oh my God, that would have been so so magical to like dance to that I would have I feel like if we had picked that though we would have had to like somehow come up with like a little bit of choreography for it because it is like more of an upbeat song than a slow song but it's just perfect anyway so then I got myself this shirt for Hollywood Studios and honestly if my husband's like I need to wear that shirt I'll let him wear it but it has Woody and buzz and it says reach for the sky thought that was so cute and my sister's gonna let me she has like a toy story headband that she wore to hollywood studios last year and i asked her if i could borrow it so i could wear it with the shirt so that's what i got again i'll have the shop linked down below but i'm gonna get these kitties downstairs so we could just hang out in the living room watch some tv i've been trying to get caught up on youtube um i've been really behind because i've been just in the mood to watch like real tv but I don't know what I'm going to watch today. No. Miles trying to knock over the trash can. And I got to see if this is moldy. My husband's water bottle has been just sitting here for like months. And I'm worried that because it could be moldy at this point. And speaking of deals, I still have free meals from every plate. If you guys would like one, I'll have a link down below. I do get some sort of credit if you sign up using my link, but that's not why I post the link. It's really just because a free box is a free box. And once you have the free box, you can cancel your account as like a little tip. Oh, Miles would like to say hi. Okay. And I guess we're done. What I was saying was I say it because that way... You guys can get the free box if you guys decide you like every plate you keep every plate if you don't at least you got like some sort of free food and these times in inflation it's just you know every little bit helps so i'll have a link down below if you want a free box from every plate like i said i do get a credit so just want to say that in advance but i figured i'd just offer it but i'm not offering it so i get the credit i'm offering it to help you guys because i know Groceries are expensive now. So let's get these kitties downstairs. You guys, you ready to be proud of me? I just made a doctor's appointment for me and Cody. Now, mind you, the doctor that I have made an appointment for doesn't have any availability until July. So that sucks, but... I am just so proud that I made the appointment, so I didn't want to um, call around. I was just like, you know what? Great. Oh my god. This Celsius Fantasy Vibe flavor, the Mandarin Marshmallow, just chef's kiss. Anyways. Also, I talked about it with my sister-in-law, and she just made the good point. Like, if something were to happen, because I said, what if I get pregnant before that? And she's just like, the yeah, obviously, I would take you sooner. This is just the initial appointment. So, we still could try if we wanted to. I don't know. I've, I'm back and forth lately with this whole thing with my cousin. Like, should I take the year and lose weight first and push getting pregnant to next year? Or should I just do it this year? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it because it's like something that I don't necessarily want advice on. No offense. It's just something I need to work with myself and what I feel is going to be great for my body. So anyways, so now I just got a package from Walmart because obviously it's a new year. 
so I ordered a new calendar. But this calendar was so hard to get. I ordered it right before Christmas. Got lost in the mail, so had to like chat with someone on Walmart. And they sent me a replacement, and then that replacement was late. So I, I definitely didn't get it by the time the new year started, but I got another top. My cats are fighting. Gus, by the way, is kind of back to normal. Still a little wobbly on his feet, but anyways, I got a new Thomas Kincaid Disney calendar. Oh my God, I couldn't think of it. Um, I'm very excited. I We had one last year and we loved it. So I was really excited to grab another one and yeah look mickey and minnie i love thomas kincaid disney pictures i would actually love to get um get one for get a couple of his prints so this is the recipe we're using for the pork it is my grandmother's recipe from this cookbook um Obviously, it says Chinese chicken, but we're going to do the marinade for the pork. The only thing I do differently is I don't add the salt because soy sauce is plenty salty by itself. So you definitely don't need it. So I'm going to put make this, put it in a bag with the pork chops, let it marinate. I'm going to take some rice out of the freezer so I can make fried rice. And then we're going to have broccoli, and I think it's going to be good. Okay. Just go back from Hannaford. So got a little thing of vegetable oil. Toilet paper. I was out of rice since I'm using the last of it for tonight. And some oranges. These were on sale. The whole bag was like $3.50, I want to say. Love me an orange in the wintertime. It's when they're honestly the best. A sympathy card for my cousin's wife. I want to get that signed and mailed out tomorrow. We've discovered the magic of chocolate Oreos. We think they're so good. So I had to get another package of those. And we got another water thing for our water cooler, which we haven't had in like months, um, just because they've been sold out. And then it's just like, we forgot. So very excited to have like good water again. That's that, I'm gonna go make dinner. But I think I might end this here because honestly, I have so much footage on this vlog. Um, so yeah, so I feel like I've shown how to make fried rice on my channel many times before. If you want, like, me to show it next time I make it, I will. But I just, there's just so much footage, and I just want to make dinner, focus on that, and just, yeah. So if you like this video and you're enjoying vlogs on my channel, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Just go ahead and click that little red thing, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.